Good morning, let's do an outfit check at this god-awful angle. It's currently 5am and we are in the pier for our boat ride. Also, I didn't know this pier had this inspection thing here. I thought that was only in the airport. Not for sea, but at least I learn new things every day. Breakfast before we board the boat so that we don't starve. No currently lining and look at this pretty sky. Now we're in the boat. My family and I were 6 in total during the trip and since the middle seats only have 5, I became the sacrificial lamb that sat on the side and got separated. But at least I kind of got a window seat or an almost window seat which still counts. I did a bit of makeup and we're finally getting out. It was a two hour long ride and the whole time I couldn't sleep because there was no position, comfortable enough. So let's just say I was happy to finally see land again. We are gonna stay three days and two nights here so I only brought a backpack and a tote bag. We had a Carindiria stop for a very bomb breakfast 2.0 since we're gonna go to our tour immediately and just check in to the hotel we're staying in later. Our very first stop is the ever so iconic Chocolate Hills, a Bohol tourist spot staple. You really need some strong kneecaps if you want to go to the top to really get a good overview of the hills. Plus, the heat was scorching AF. There's a lot of space at the top so it doesn't feel crowded as much despite having lots of people. Also, this was months before the weird resort fiasco that's going on right now. I'm not sure if I got any clips of the construction. But just know that at least we were able to see the hills before we all knew about the very weird resort project. The next stop is to see the Tarshirs, yet another must-see Bohol tourist staple. Also, this guy will greet you at the entrance and not gonna lie, he's giving me the heebie-jeebies with the face. Anyways, everyone had to stay quiet as to not to disturb the Tarshirs and you can just basically go around the forest and spot the little ones. Not really an official stop unless if you consider stopping in the middle of the road a stop, which in that case makes it a stop, but we just wanted to have pics of the man-made forest so it was a very short stop but it was still a uh, sleigh. <laughs> Our next stop was a river cruise. So basically, you and a few other tourists are put in this small cruise boat with a buffet. So we took our lunch here and the view of the river is also really nice and adds to the ambiance of the trip. There's also like a live band so it's filled with music too. Also, when you reach a certain area of the trip, there's a really fun cultural show where the locals perform and they even let the tourists perform with them so that was a really enjoyable experience. After that, everyone was done eating so they just jammed and danced to the music. Here are my relatives and even my father and mother living their best life. Next stop is a zoo park and a butterfly garden. From the entrance, we are greeted by the corpse of Miss Samantha the Python. And then we're off to see the alive animals. We have the civet cat just laying and chilling. The most astounding thing here is the amount of snakes on the floor. They let you touch them as long as you don't panic and you gently do it with their supervision, of course. Since there are also some snakes that they don't let you touch. We have this big ass crocodile also chilling. Here are a few monkeys in their respective cages. Hello. <laughs> we have peacocks and peahens, also lots of birds in different sizes and colors. Hello. Here is some lizards. And lastly, we have the butterfly garden. 
My battery died here, but I was able to have a pick with a butterfly, which you get from like feeding them, which is pretty awesome. And yes, yet another stop. This day was really full of places to visit. But don't worry, this is the last tourist spot for the day. And it's the mirror of the world. I really love that their entrance is made to be like an inside of an airplane. I thought that was really creative. Here is an airplane above the entrance, so it's like we've already arrived. Right from the very entrance, you can see all the replicas. And it's actually a really fascinating view. We have the Eiffel Tower, but in gold. The Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Statue of Liberty is just right around the corner. Next to this cottage windmill, I'm so sorry I forgot what it was called, and the Singapore Lion is Bo Hollywood. Golden Gate Bridge, which is an actual bridge that you can walk on. Here is a closer look on the Bo Hollywood sign, and of course, the Colosseum. This art piece looks really really cool. It's still really hot out, more so when we climb these stairs with the direct sunlight. Here are these wall art of different places too. They also have descriptions so you can read and learn about the country and the buildings slash tourist spots same for all the other attractions here we have all these sculptures of greek gods and goddesses all lined up in the pathway here we have the big ben and this is an overview at the top i learned a lot of other world tourist destinations i didn't know about before so this was a learning experience for me i might miss some of the places but they're also still expanding so some world destinations are still yet to be built here hello hello break to relieve us of the heat of the sun and the tiredness of walking here is an inside look of the bridge the other side is still in construction though and lastly we have the christ the redeemer statue in rio here a side note of this specific trip is that this is a walking experience an added difficulty is also the heat and this is our last tourist destination for today <laughs> This is not an official stop, but we plan to go to the church museum, but it closed at 5 p.m. So we weren't able to make it. So here's the church model instead. We're finally, finally in our hotel room. Here's a small tour. This is a room for four, so me, my brother, and both my parents. It's a family room and it's really, really spacious. Now we're out in the streets to get dinner. I'm wearing just the same clothes as a few hours ago. A lot of food establishments and restaurants are at a walking distance here too. We decided to eat here and I love their payag art installation. Also their bowl is really pretty and the food has arrived. Hello, here is what I'm wearing for today and we're off to eat breakfast at our most favorite national fast food restaurant, Jollibee. Got some makeup on and put my hair up to get ready for the day. We wanted to visit a local church first. This one that we pulled up is currently preparing for an event. I think it's a wedding and I wanted to show their very pretty setup. Okay, our first official stop for today is a shell museum. Right on the entrance is a creature jaw photo op and this um man statue. I've never seen so much shells in a room in my entire life. Here are some really big and old ones like way back a few hundred years ago. There are also other animals here as well there's a host here that guided us with the tour and they relayed a good amount of information of the shelf so it was also a really fun learning experience plus there's also labels and descriptions for each of the shelves on their display where pearls come from there's a mermaid statue here that also gives me the heebie-jeebies there's some fascinating creatures that i haven't seen before as well more on where different pearls come from i think the black ones are really cool you can see a teardrop shape sticking out here other sea animals in this area lastly we have these cool looking ones over here Next stop is the Moad to Strip. We didn't plan to swim on the beach, so we just looked around the area. Here is an overview, and this is their beach area. A quick milk tea break in this cafe inside the strip. 
next stop is the Hinagdanan Cave. It felt weird to me that the ticket booth is a bit far away from the actual entrance. But anyways, you have to literally climb down inside the cave. Very, very steep and slippery. It's also a bit dark, which is a given since it's a cave. But there's also light, so it's not too dark that it's dangerous. Here's the inside of the cave. And as you can see here, you can swim around at the bottom. Since we're also not planning to take a swim here, it was a pretty short trip, but it was still a really cool destination to look around. Next destination is the bee farm. An interesting fact that we learned was that there were no actual bees on the bee farm when we visited. They used to have a lot of them before the pandemic, and since it got hard to take care of them when it happened, they had to reallocate them so they aren't here anymore. But despite not having the actual bees, there's still a lot to see here. They can do events as they have the space for that. They also have a restaurant at the bottom with a very nice sea view. I think they have lots of eating space but only open this one. There's also some sort of gallery showing different installations and artworks too. And this destination marks the very end of our Bohol tour. Before going home, we went to a church and oh my god, there were a lot of pigeons here than I have ever seen in my entire life. And as tourists, of course, we took pics of the I love Bohol sign. Now for our lunch. Our day to day was not that packed since we went to almost all of the places in our itinerary yesterday, but no regrets, we all had a great and fun time. It's swimming time! Here is my swimwear outfit. I only wanted to go to the pool, but my parents insisted on visiting the beach before it gets dark, so we did just that. The sand here is so clean, and that sunset is so pretty. They have an area here with lots of stores and restaurants, like a mini burakai if you will. It's also near the beach, so you can even choose to just chill in the sand if that's your vibe. Now that we're done with our walk, we're finally off to the hotel pool. There were no people when we got here, which was great. The pool looks so swimmable. It's also not that deep here. Here, I think the deepest being 4 feet only. Even if it was quiet and empty, everything was just a vibe. So yeah, I surprisingly really enjoyed my time here. Hello, good morning. Here's my dry AF hair and outfit. We had our breakfast in our hotel's restaurant. My aunt gave me these eye decoration things that you stick in your face. I thought that it was really cool and decided to make a look by searching Pinterest, taking out my makeup bag and experimenting with my face despite my parents in the background telling us to pack because we were gonna leave soon. Anyways, here is the finished look with the same outfit and we're off to finally leave. I also like how the color of my shorts kind of match the eye stickers i just noticed now when we we're about to leave that the van had the cutest neck pillow the plan was to leave our bags at the pier and head out for lunch do i look out of place and too festive for the pier absolutely am i bothered by it though absolutely not anyways we're in the boat now heading back to cebu and that was our entire bohol trip if we reach this far wow congrats i admire your attention span i hope that you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed our trip and that's it for this vid bye bye